You want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So today I've got a massive uh, amount of sales to show you. I know I normally do 10, however I've not done a sales update in over 3 weeks now. Uh, I don't even know why that is, I've just not got around to doing it on a Friday like I normally do. Um, but today I thought I'm going to put a stop to that and I'm going to actually get one done. But obviously, um, I didn't want to just show you 10 sales, I wanted to show you a good breadth of sales that I've had over the past couple of weeks. Even this isn't everything, there's loads more sales I could show you. I think last month I had about 120 orders on eBay, and then obviously other orders on Amazon. Um, so yeah, I, 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 it, would, it would take forever to show you that amount, because I have... Usually what I do is I have a little bit of a story for certain items as well, so that kind of uh, takes a little bit of time to go through. So yeah, anyway, if you are a new reseller, um, please do stick with this till the end because I sell quite a wide variety of items, so what you'll actually get from this video is uh, you might be able to get a bit of knowledge on what to actually pick up if you are new and you need some tips on you know what to look out for. Um, I'm not a complete generalist because I don't actually sell furniture or very large items, but I do sell a large variety of items. Uh, really everything's fair game to me, electronics, brass, metalware, all that sort of stuff, uh, toys, games, um, oh my god, there's just so much like ceramics, glassware, you name it, plush toys, um, ugh, I, I can't even name the amount of stuff I pick up there's so much so yeah if you if you are new please do stick to the end because you should get some good knowledge out of this so first off with this uh, large uh, brass and copper coal bucket really really nice one this um, I think these are called rivets these little uh, those little ball things that go inside uh, to sort of attach the copper and the brass together the two layers there and they're really quite nice I really really do like this bucket um, and I saw I saw on Complete and Sold, there was a few of these going for sort of like 20 quid, 30 quid. And then there was other ones going for like 60 quid. So I was like, I was really thinking, it's not worth 20 quid, it's worth more than that. Um, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure whether I'd get quite 60, so I thought to myself, you know what, I'll... I'll go at 50 and we'll see. But anyway, it had quite a lot of interest and probably within a couple of weeks or so it did go. So I was right on the money there. Um, maybe I could have pushed a little bit more, but at the same time, I'm glad I didn't go with the 20 quid because I knew it was worth more than that. But obviously certain people um, have just decided to go for that and then obviously uh, not got as much money back for their item. So if you get one of these or a similar one, please do charge a decent amount. Uh, don't be one of those guys coming in at 20 quid because then that's going to make people think that it's worth less money than it actually is. It really is nice item, this one. I've seen other ones that were on, um, that were a lot more kind of bright. Um, they were almost kind of like polished up. Um, but I quite like the patina on this one. It's not got loads of patina, but you can see it has got, a, it has lived a little bit and got a bit of a life to it. So yeah, and really nice thick handle there. Re really, really nice item that one. Anyway, next one is this Monastery of Mount St. Bernard. Um, just like a, a print. And the funny thing about this is actually going back to that place. Um, as far as I can tell from the address and what's on there, um, it is actually going back to that sort of area anyway. So um, I'm really pleased if it is, if I'm right, and it is going back to that area. And I think that that's, I mean, I'm no art expert or anything, but I do think that these kind of prints and these uh, paintings do have more value to people who are living in that area, within that local area, because they feel like if they've got, you know, a print or a painting of that area on the wall, they feel a sense of pride within their local area. I just feel like there's there's more value attached to it in that respect. Um, I didn't know what to price this at. I just got it in a job lot. It wouldn't have cost me a lot at all, maybe one or two pound. And uh, I just threw it on for 20 quid, just a random price, made up, made up a price. And obviously someone saw it and uh, liked what we saw and ended up buying it. So next is this antique copper bed warmer. You see these around a lot. Um, I've always kind of avoided these for one because they're quite long and all that sort of stuff and it gets a bit 
you know, hectic and stuff to post and wrap up and all that. I don't like dealing with really, really long items or really, really big items, hence why I don't do furniture. Um, but yeah, I, I picked this up because it was in a job lot and uh, you don't seem to get a lot for these. I don't know whether maybe I could have got a little bit more, but it didn't sell really fast. So I don't think I could have got much more than that at uh, 19 99 plus a tenner postage. Um, but yeah, if they still go... Obviously, certain people still want these, um, but I think that just certain other bits of copper and brass are more desirable than these themselves. But it's a nice little bit of history there, and it is a fairly nice uh, nice one there. I'll see if I can get a picture of... Uh, there we go, that's what I want. So it's got, you know, it's got like a nice little design on there. It's, an, it's okay. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Next was some Ben 10 figures. I got 15 quid plus postage for these. I did say that I was going to do these in like, you know, bundles of three or four or five and maybe shoot for that 15 to 20 quid range. That's what I did and a lot of the bundles went off really, really quickly. Um, I got about, I think I've got maybe three bundles left to sell and I've maybe sold four or five four bundles, four or five bundles, something like that, um, and I've still got some more figures to list, well, I've got some cars and stuff to list, I don't know whether I've got many figures left, but uh, yeah, from 15 quid at the car boot, I was all over that, uh, I'm in profit on that now, so perfect really, um, so yeah, that was one of the first bundles to sell, 15 quid plus post. Uh, next was something I absolutely love selling, um, but they don't generally have the sell-through rate of other items, but they do sell slowly, uh, and these are, you know, vintage glass bottles, the green ones, the, you know, the sort of brewer's bottles, the mineral water bottles, cod net bottles, torpedo bottles, that sort of stuff. Um, I love selling them, love picking them up. This was a Cornbrook Brewery Manchester one, so not that far from me, Manchester, um, and yeah, 11 quid plus postage. I would have picked this up for a quid. I generally don't pay much more than that for these bottles because they really are just bread and butter items they're not you know they're not really really valuable items obviously there are ones that are valuable but these kind of ones that are a bit more standard um aren't necessarily going to be that valuable but yeah that's those another lot of ben 10 figures i was annoyed on this one because i couldn't get that ghost guy to stand up uh, and yeah 12.99 plus post on that so still happy there these are actually smaller ones these were i don't think these were quite as big they might have been similar size but I think these might have been slightly smaller if I remember like rightly, so I'll put the price down by a couple of quid. Um, but yeah, so that was that was that one. Nice little sale there. Next was something I've had for ages. I am completely on profit in profit on the job lot that I bought these in, uh, and this was this uh, vintage Ernest H Hill. Um, it's like a, a weed sprayer, a garden sprayer. Uh, quite a nice one there. Um, I quite like that one to be honest and I'm glad you know I got 20 quid plus post on that I think it's deserving of it uh, some of these you can actually get good money for you know 40 50 quid for some of these uh, especially you know if they're like the long ones and we've got a desired name on there um, and you know collectors are looking out for those ones and also I do feel like you know a little bit of patina on these items does always help them certain people might be put off by patina but a large percentage of collectors actually do like that patina on them um, so yeah that's that one next was the Neil that I picked up uh, from the car boot same car boot as the Ben 10 figures went within a few days I always get 10 quid plus postage for these never fail just to shift within a nice quick time frame and I paid two quid for it I don't know whatever I just said um, but yeah 95 plus postage very happy on that one next was these uh, vintage cold put canton kings wear dinner plates six of them here um, and yeah again I just got these in a job lot I got these in a job lot that cost me 10 pound plus commission with uh, basically with these it was a few other plates a few other of the same of these plates and uh, a pair of binoculars as well. I think the binoculars are on for like 20 quid. I've still got another set of four of these plates to sell. And um, basically the other four aren't in as good condition as these. So that's why I separated them out. Otherwise I would have just done a 10. Um, but yeah, basically these sold in my sale for £22.49 plus the postage. So I was happy with that. Gets my money back out of the job lot. Gets maybe a small smidge of profit. Then the binoculars and the other plates will be my profit. It wasn't the most uh, lucrative job lot, if, you know, if I'm being honest. But still, I decided just to whack a bid in there for that one. Um, so yeah, next is this vintage Dennis Fisher Ghost Train. Picked this up for 
for five quid and it sold within a week or two. Um, I didn't under, uh, undersell it. I don't feel like I undersold it anyway. Um, I just think it's one of those things that when they come available, um, because it's quite a rare item, uh, people want to snap it up really. The collectors are, maybe have saved searches set up and they do really want to get their hands on this. So yeah, so for 60 quid plus postage. As I say, from a fiver, really, really happy with that. If you follow me on Instagram, my handle is at ad, is it adsrobo96. Um, a link will be down below anyway. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you will have uh, seen this sale already. I do post some of my sales early on Instagram. So if you want to follow me, uh, on there and actually get a little bit more of a regular update on my sales over there then please feel free to do so next was this vintage loso wear loso wear uh, keeling and co uh, little biscuit bowl this loso wear it seems to do well certain certain uh, bowls and stuff of it seem to do quite well um i don't think again i don't think i've undersold this one i think i've got a reasonable price um it didn't go really quickly so it's not it's not making me think that i undersold it at all but yeah, 14 99 plus posted for that. Again, came in an auction job lot, couple of quid, something like that. Really, really happy. That is the little stamp there, Loso Wear, um, established 1790. So it's quite an old company. Um, so that's pretty cool. Nice little item there. Um, next was this large vintage silver plate rose bowl. If I'm being honest, that title needed a bit of padding out, hence why it didn't sell for quite a while. Uh, this probably took two or three months to sell. No, maybe even more than that. Maybe four or five months actually, because this was in one of my job lots for from quite a while ago, sort of start of the year. So obviously the reason there, this is great. Uh, m you know, my mistakes are your advantage because essentially now what we understand is that the reason this might not have sold for four or five months is because of the title. I've not put as much effort into the title with my keywords in there. Therefore. That could be one of the influences for why it didn't sell uh, in that first, you know, few weeks of the first month. So, yeah, always look out for your titles. Make sure you're padding them out. Sometimes I get lazy with them, and that's hence why I don't do as much in the titles as I should do. But I still got 50 quid or 51 quid there. Again, this came in a job lot. came in a job lot. I think I paid about 20, 25 pound plus commission for a job lot silver plate. Included in that was a cruet set. Silver plate cruet set um, and load of other silver plate. Anyway, I've got a whole video on my on my channel. It's the one where I uh, the title of the video is um, I filled the car again or something. It's something like that. Anyway, um, and it's an auction haul. Um, but you can basically see in that video what I got. Um, and also, um, I actually sold the cruet set and I've sold a few other bits from the job lot, so I am in profit on it. So that after postage and fees is just pure profit. So I'm pretty happy with that one. Next is don't ever pass up on these little. Uh, glass dessert ice cream bowls things you don't get a lot of money for them um, you can see the photo isn't very great on this because it's not a backlit photograph if it was backlit backlit would be better uh, with glass but here we go these you know they're pretty cool um, I got these out of the job like I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't say it go out, you know, I wouldn't say to people go out your way and kind of pick these up at a car boot um, unless you're getting them for like 10 or 20 pence. But if you get them in, you know, if you see them in an auction job lot and there's other things in the job lot that you that have caught your eye, then yeah, get the job lot. But don't throw these away. List them because yes, they may be crap and you might think, oh, well, I'm not going to get any money for them. But actually, you can get a little bit of money for them. So they're just kind of, you know, ice cream bowls with this kind of, what, what did I describe it as? Uh, fluted edges. I don't know whether that is right or not, but that's that what I've described it as fluted edges. Um, so yeah, that's that pretty pretty cool little sale there, and it's something that. I think people might pass up on or they might just end up throwing in the bin if you get them in a job lot. So don't do that. List these. You'll get a bit of money from them. Uh, vintage Knighthood branded pewter uh, pedestal. I really do like pewter now. I, there was a time um, when I was working in an auction house where... I just, uh, I was told basically pewter wasn't the best, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, like, the, uh, other than like certain brands of pewter, like Ch uh, Chudwick or something like that. But um, basically, generally, if it's not got a very good brand or it's not got a brand on, pewter isn't all that good. However, that was 
from the standpoint of putting them in an auction. So when you put them in an auction, an auction is essentially like you're getting wholesale prices for stuff. So that's why we would be told like, you know, generally a lot of pewter isn't the best. Just job lot it up in big job lots and do one big lot of it. Um, but from a reselling standpoint, I'm really starting to like pewter a lot more and, and actually realise that it does have some good value. Um, and, you know, this one isn't particularly a great example of something having really good value, but it is quite a nice little, um, you know, sort of little uh, bowl there. It's by this, I don't know if you can see that, King's Hood or something, what is it, King, yeah, King's Hood. Um, and yeah, it's quite a nice little thing, I got this in a job lot of pewter, can't remember how much I paid for the job lot, but this, again, if I worked it out as an individual item basis, it's one or two quid, maybe three quid at max. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with that one. 14 99 plus postage. Yeah, and as I say, I'm really getting to like pewter. Uh, next is something I don't actually know where I got this. I'm assuming it's from an auction job lot because something like this I don't think I would have picked up in a charity shop. So yeah, it must be from an auction job lot, but... Uh, there we go, I've got 9.95 plus postage for this horse glasses. Um, generally, what I've heard from a lot of people is these go back, these go better like without the strap. But I've, I just thought they're on the strap, I'll leave them on the strap and I just whacked them on for any old price. Uh, I don't even think I did much research, I just whacked them on for 10 quid, just get them gone. Um, but as I say, I don't know where I got these from. I'm assuming an auction job lot, and if so, a couple of quid cost to me at most, so I'm quite happy with that, nice little sale. Next was something I just picked up on the fly, um, I saw it in a charity shop, it's a nice little bit of studio pottery there, on the back there, studio pottery, um, you can see it's you know, obviously made by someone, local artist or something, and um, yeah, I thought, oh, that's quite nice, a bit abstract, quite like that. And um, I picked it up in the charity shop, it was a charity shop that I know one of the managers in, even though they weren't there, it was actually just an employee, and they just said to me, oh, well not an employee, a volunteer even, um, and they just said to me, oh do you like that, you, you can have it for a quid if you want, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll definitely have that for a quid. Uh, you can see it is a nice one, it's got this nice little house in here, and I was very, very torn on price with this, because I thought, I really don't want to undersell this, but... If I, if I, you know, but I don't want to like just overshoot on price, so I was really torn. Maybe I could have actually got about 30 quid for this if I had waited because my thinking in doing, uh, in, in thinking that is because um, this went within about a week or two for 20 quid. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm happy with 20 quid plus postage from a quid investment. It's done, it's gone, I'm happy with that, I'm not going to... Uh, you know, think to myself, oh, what could have been, because it, it's gone now, it's sold, but it does make me think a little bit, it does make me think, you know, maybe I could have uh, got a little bit higher for this, because it was a nice piece, but if I do see anything similar to this in the future, I will be bumping that price up to about 30 quid, but that was very nice, that one, really, really liked, uh, really, really liked this, and yeah, nice little item there. Um, so next is this uh, Meccano, again got this in a job lot, I just put a load of these braces together, or bra braced girders they're called, put them on for 20 quid, whacked a bit of postage on there, they went within a few weeks so I was more than happy with that, nice little sale there, again got these in a job lot, few quid cost to me, I'm more than happy with that, nice little thing from, for 20 quid there. Next is this, uh, oh my god, I got this ages ago in a, and, and I showed it in a haul video, I got it for a quid, two quid, three quid, I don't know, one, two or three quid, I really haven't a clue, um, because I do, because I do cash basis and I record all my, um, I record all my expenses as I make an expense and I record a sale as I make a sale, um, I don't have to remember prices for things, so then what that mean, means is when something sells from a year ago, for these sales updates, I, I haven't a clue what price I paid, but I know it was in a charity shop, I know it was like one, two, or maybe three quid tops, and I really did rate this bottle, it's got lovely embossing on it, I mean, it isn't like a fantastic, fantastic bottle, but it's you can, the photo doesn't do the embossing justice there, but it's really clean cut embossing, really really nice, uh, a lovely size, a lovely shape to it, I love this rectangular shape to it, and a really nice colour, it's like a clear, but it's kind of slightly blue as well, so it's in between that blue and clear, and I really really did rate it, I think, I thought it was really really nice, uh, not a really mega high end antique, 
but it's or a, you know high end collectible or anything. But I just think it's a nice thing for what it is. So I whacked it on at thirty quid, thinking I want it. I'd rather keep this than sell it for less than that. But then you know the months rolled by, and I thought you know what I've probably listed that with my heart instead of my head. And uh, I thought to myself, you know what, if an offer comes along, I'm just going to accept it, whatever it is. So anyway, an, an offer came along for 20 quid plus postage. And, and actually, in actual fact, I'm more than happy with that because I actually think that's uh, the maximum amount you could possibly get for this bottle after a bit more consideration. It's a fairly large bottle, you know, 25 centimetres or so. But I think that 20 quid is a solid price for this item. So really, really happy with that especially from the money I actually invested into it. So yeah, again, this is a good example of, you know, maybe a bottle that you could get a little bit more for, opposed to the one we looked at before with the Cornbrook Brewery. But yeah, really, really happy with that one. Nice little sale. Next, this antique silver-plated Richard Richardson, Sheffield Small uh, Sugar bot uh, Pot. Um, basically, I go on a website, I forgot the name of the website, but I go on a website and I can identify the silver plate marks of, on an item really, really quickly. I can identify the maker very, very quickly as well. Um, so basically, I just identified the maker, uh, typed in the maker's name. It doesn't seem to be like a really high-end maker unless it's maybe a really nice piece that they've done. You know, if it's a really nice piece that they've done, then obviously you can charge uh, a fair bit for it. But, it, you know, this maker doesn't seem to be really really out there um but yeah 14.99 for that plus postage but it's still a nice little thing for what it is it's got a nice little design to it and uh, you can see there 14.99 plus post so really really happy with that one uh, next, The Sims 3, this was in my uh, Can You Do eBay With One Pound video thing, and I listed this for 8 99 uh, paid a quid for it, and it sold really, really quickly. Um, you know what I'm going to do, actually, on this video? I'm going to put a little price tag of how much net profit I've made on that, um, if I remember to do that, so basically... Uh, 8 99 there from £1, we'll see how much money I actually made on that net profit um, from, you know, can you start up eBay with a quid? And then obviously that money there, I can then reinvest and see how much I can compound it. So, yeah, basically 8 99 from a quid, very, very happy with that one. Went within a few days. Michael Cole, pair of Studio Pottery Water Urns. Um, this is kind of like... Um, it kind of shows in one way that Studio Pottery is probably one of the slowest selling niches on, on eBay if you get certain items. Like, there's certain items of Studio Pottery, like that plate that we just looked at, that is very desirable and that'll go quite quick. And then there's other items of Studio Pottery that are desirable, but they're only desirable to certain people, and that, therefore it takes longer to sell. But I got these in a, an auction job lot. Ages and ages ago, this is on a uh, different background actually, or it's when I had my background in a different position in the room. Um, I can tell by the, the light and the shadow. Um, but ba basically, I got 20 quid for them plus post. So, you know, it took a, a long time to sell, but I was really happy in the end that I got that amount of money from them. So, yeah, that was that one. Next was this vintage grandstand gridiron handheld talking game. Uh, I didn't get 24 quid, I accepted an offer of 20 quid, but I'm more than happy with that, it's only a few quid off. Um, and I got this in a, when I was picking through another reseller's house, I've talked about that in previous sales updates. Um, I don't know what we agreed on for this item, um, but generally what we were doing is we were agreeing on certain prices for different items. So, I don't know on this, I, for all I know I'm probably just in profit on it anyway. But if I had to put a number on it, it'd be something like four or five quid. I was paying a little bit more than I usually would uh, at a car boot because obviously he was another reseller. I wanted to respect him. I knew that he was quite comfortable of researching these items anyway. So he knew what the price would be or what price I would get. Um, but, so yeah, I thought I'd pay, pay up a little bit for these or somewhat pay up for them. And... Um, yeah, I ended up grabbing that one, and I was really happy that it sold for 20 quid. It did take a while, though, this. It took a few months to go. Um, but, yeah, that was that one. Next, some more Ben 10 figures. These are Humongousaur uh, Bandai figures. Uh, two of them there, like a like a weird seafood green one, and then another solid green one there. Uh, 95 plus postage, so I was very happy with that. Again, in profit on those now, so more than happy with that. And next is uh, kind of a... a bit of a mishmashy sale here um because these were from a, a collectible plate job lot i've talked about this before you know a lot of people at the auctions 
uh, don't go for these collectible plates and you know okay I understand like why people do it because as you can see here I mean I only got 10 quid plus post for them but if you've got a nice big job lot, like, you know, a nice big box full of collectible plates and you're getting it for a 5 plus commission, a 10 plus commission, then you can do nice little bundles like this, maybe even smaller bundles like this, um, you know, and uh, different sort of themes. And you can get some money back for them. So, it, 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 to me personally, it makes no sense not to pick them up because um, it's just a little bit of extra money through the door, um, like sort of bread and butter sales. But, yeah, I picked I pick these up in a larger job, lot of collectible plates. As I say, I think for this one, 5 plus commission, 10 plus commission at most. I generally don't go more than that on these kind of you know, lower scale collectible plates or not as desirable collectible plates because it's just not worth going higher than that. Um, but yeah, 10 quid plus commission on this particular bundle. This was like a, an all cats kind of bundle. There's a dog there, but it's mainly cats. Um, but yeah, so that was that. Oh no, I put cats and dogs actually. Um, and yeah, someone bought it. I, I mean, I was amazed that someone did buy this because I just literally cobbled this bundle together and thought maybe someone who's interested in cats or dogs might have it and someone who's interested in cats and dogs probably did buy this so yeah really really happy with that one and i will leave it there guys so that is the sales update done if you did like it please do give it a like if you haven't already please do subscribe and if you'd like to see more content from me or if you'd like to see any specific content from me any specific video requests that you may have please drop them down below and that will do it for this video see you very soon guys